what's good crypto i'm your host marvin here to bring you a daily scoop on everything going on in crypto for the first time since december 13th we are over fifty thousand dollars per bitcoin this is really really exciting we need to see this momentum we need bitcoin to remain strong and to continue to show strength so let's take a look let's take a look at the numbers and continue to remind you guys what we are looking at monday through friday we come here to educate ourselves when it comes to investing in crypto to make life changing wealth none of this financial advice just my opinion um i am not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research let's jump in so we can see there is a lot of green right now again as i mentioned bitcoin has been treated like a ball underwater all that pressure just building up for about seven weeks now we have been under this pressure of the downwards action and we are finally starting to make a breakout again you can't everything doesn't go up forever and not everything goes down forever either with an asset class like bitcoin with ethereum your chances are in the long term that you're going to continue to make profit if you continue the dollar cost average and be patient with everything in crypto and we see that with bitcoin for a while bitcoin was doing nothing we were fluctuating between the prices of about forty nine thousand and forty five thousand for six to seven weeks realistically we've been down for about seven or eight weeks from our highs of 69,000, but we are starting to see some momentum. Bitcoin just needed that time to cool off and start the momentum again. Let's take a look at what's going on. Let's take a look at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index for today. We can see that now we are up down a little bit from yesterday's 45. Yesterday, we were at 45. People were feeling good that we were at 49,000. Things were feeling really, really exciting. And then overnight, you know, we went from 49,000, 41, 49,100 all the way down to about 48,000. Uh, and then we claimed that as support. We bounced off of it and we are moving forward. People are feeling good. The market's feeling excited. And we have some top gainers too. Let's take a look at the metrics right now. We are sitting at 50000 and one hundred dollars exactly and you can see clearly that we are breaking out of this downtrend on the four hourly chart we are breaking up pretty bullish this is really really exciting we're seeing you know things starting to kick in um though the volume is a little bit low we'd like to see more volume coming in um bitcoin is starting to break out I, to me this tells me that the bears are starting to get exhausted for the longest time if we take a look on the hour uh weekly no it, it can be better exemplified on the daily you know we had this massive one drop similar to what happened over the summer where we have this one massive drop then we were range bound and we dip and then we bounce off we see that sort of similarly in the month of september but really realistically during the month of uh months of may to july where we finally got our blast off we can kind of see that happen in here um we hit an all-time high we consolidate and now we are rounding up and moving upwards and onwards this is exactly what we want to see though we are low on volume we would like to see that and we can see on the macd we are crossing bullish this is looking really really good um on the daily it's been quite some time since we flipped uh bullish over the zero line and we finally are and we've seen in times prior when we are from bearish on the daily and start to flip bullish we see some major rallies for example back in september we were down at twenty nine thousand, or excuse me we went from uh forty thousand and rallied all the way up to sixty nine thousand dollars and we were bearish ever since then really we started losing steam things started to get anemic closer to the sixty thousand dollar mark when we first got up there and then we bounced back up so with all that being said we are finally flipping bullish on the daily things are looking good for bitcoin and on the weekly um we are still a little bit bearish we've been bearish since about um december so hopefully we can start start seeing that on the longer time frames the flip to bullish it'll be really interesting to see over the next week or two if we can start seeing that go closer to the zero level and start flipping bullish because once we start flipping bullish that's where we had the major rally all the way up to um the highs of 69,000. so we'll see how this plays out this could be a shorter version of the summer again a little bit of bearishness is fine but uh if we can start flipping bullish and we, if we can get uh a cl uh, engulfing closing um <laughs> a gulf engulfing bullish candle on the weekly uh in order to do that we closed last week at let's take a look 
we opened at 50,053. If we're able to close over 50,050, tip closer to 51, 52,000, that would be a larger candle on this week than last week, which would be very, very bullish. Can we close out the week with a price action over 50,000? That'd be really, really good. But most importantly, we really want to get over that $52,000 region. Um, that way we don't have a head and shoulders play out. We would not want to see that. That would get ugly very very fast so the bulls really need to step up and really show their strength um, over the next couple of days especially over the next week or two taking a look at other things going on in the market we can see that everything is feeling good on over the last 24 hours doji on mars for whatever reason is up substantially uniswap had some great news with polygon because polygon is now on uniswap um, which will bring the prices down phantom up a significant amount 24 percent up on the week uh, i told you guys that i bought some earlier we see engine coin getting closer to the three dollar mark which we love to see cardano showing <laughs> signs of life there's a lot of green terra luna at almost 95 dollars that's excellent v chain took a beating over uh nine cents now so things are starting to pick up things are starting to look good and if we take a look at the losers there's not too much harmony is down less than a percent other than that really just a bunch of random coins and then it's just um stable coins overall so overall things are looking great uh terra luna has just been absolutely crushing it um, really excited about Luna. I continue to take profits as we go up just because, you know, I, it's my bag of Luna is very, very small, a uh, super small amount. And I wish I had more of it, uh, but it just teaches you, you know, sometimes don't always bank on speculative plays. I mean, all these are pretty speculative, but you can make a lot of great profit with some of the larger coins, coins that have been here that continue to show strength overall that are you know backed well we also see shiba inu doing pretty well too up almost to point zero 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 four but overall guys this just continues to show the importance of patience sometimes the best move is not to do anything at all and if anything be greedy when they there is fear in the streets i continue to tell people that a lot of people you know over the last seven, couple of weeks have been bored with crypto a lot of people including myself have been bored but just been very very negative which tells me that you know we will go up eventually like it just continues to show over time that we continue to move up and there's no doubt in my mind or there's no reason for me to believe that we are in a bear market you know these are not bearish things going on there's too much fundamental and good news in my opinion that would you know tell me otherwise there's no reason for me to think that we are in a bear market so i think personally that bitcoin and crypto is going to continue to do well this was just a period of consolidation and just bearish price action and if the bears really want to crush us if they really want to bring down the price why didn't they they had all the opportunities to do so but they couldn't they wicked down all the way to 42,000 and were unable to get back down there time and time again we see that the bulls know when to step up protect the line and move forward so this is really exciting i hope nobody panic sold i hope nobody uh like sold at a loss and i hope you guys continue to understand when you invest in something it's not the day-to-day -day things that matter that is just noise we continue to say that because it's true if you are trying to get into crypto to get rich overnight that is probably a really bad idea but if you're looking to get into crypto to get rich quicker than other methods than the stock market you know have your dollar and money work for you and make profits along the way like myself i've been staking with celsius making i've been making money this entire time because i believe in crypto i think crypto is going to do very very well and continue to move forward that's it for today guys continue to stay strong tomorrow's christmas eve i believe i will be making um a podcast tomorrow but enjoy the rest of your day guys stay strong peace out stay safe